in this next part is her thinking that her saying that is gonna make him be like, oh, finally, it's sour turn. Hola, beautiful people. It's your girl, Miss Amazing, so amazing. And welcome back to What's the Tea, My Little Teacups. So, sisters, okay, I don't know how many of you watch it. Um, it's two days now after the last episode so i feel free to talk about what happened and i'm going to because shit's getting real i don't know if y'all can hear it but my house phone is ringing in the background but i'm gonna ignore it because sisters is more important and nobody calls the house phone if you call the house phone that means you don't really talk to any of us because everybody knows to so call me and my mama's cell phone anyway back to sisters bet wednesdays at nine we have two episodes left in season three two episodes left in season three so if you aren't caught up please catch up but i'm about to help you out right now okay so for those of you who do not feel like going back to the beginning of season three to catch up but want to know what the drama is and want to see what's going to happen in the last two episodes i'm about to break it down for y'all real quick andy and gary they're told Tumultuous, tumultuous. Their horrendous relationship. <laughs> Tumultuous. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Their horrendous relationship is finally coming to some weird end. At least that's what I'm hoping for. They are finally engaged. His wife is finally behind bars. I'm assuming the divorce is final because they haven't really talked about that. Get into that part. And he still ain't have sex with her because he's traumatized that she had sex with somebody else sir you were married that's what's wrong with you man anyway <laughs> the new relationship between fatima and zach that everybody is rooting for is starting to finally work at the beginning of season three he had this powerful explosive sex session with karen in her office at work and then he went food shopping with fatima that was a wrong move and then just so happens to run into karen and the girls while he's shopping for Tima, and they talking about her back being blown out by zach and fatima's like that what you mean that what you mean that you know she ain't cause the scene because she's a classy gangster she gonna beat your ass when necessary and she ain't gonna beat your ass on first you know anyway moving on they are now like finally getting to a place where they are accepting each other feelings for each other zach is getting over karen i think it could work and even a little more insight on a zach and fatima situation like when i mean classy gangster like she didn't let that really bother her sis came back in the beginning of season three right after that whole supermarket scene i think it was like episode two or something after that and she went and found her some fine dude had a date told zach come pick up his stuff introduced the date to zach like hey i'm going on a date i don't have time to deal with you even though she was thinking about zach the whole time basically and then she kicked the guy out and then zach ended up coming back i don't know i don't know who knows what's gonna happen i mean i kind of do my girl danny she's finally like giving a cowboy a chance like she started the season started with her finally accepting his whiteness i guess or being okay with being with a white guy because six do bomb <laughs> but besides that she really likes him he sees her for who she is he accepts her crazy loud outspoken most of the time could possibly come off as disrespectful banter i mean this is a relationship that I actually have been rooting for because she's been the most single out of the girls in all of the seasons. And now they done gave another girl an apple. I'm saying an apple like it's the housewives of New York. But they done gave another girl a spot. So, and they automatically gave her a girl too. Fatima, you my homie. But you know, I'm, you came in after Danny. Why Danny had to wait to get a man? But I'm glad she is. So, we're going to see what happens with that. I have so much hope for Sabrina and Calvin. I don't know why, but I do. Now, season three started with Calvin finding out that, 
well, not finding out that finding Jacoby, the bank guy, the new bank guy that came in season two, that is actually also dating a real Indian in real life. That's a whole nother video that we're going to get into that another time. But he came to Sabrina's house to express his love and found Jacoby with his dick in the refrigerator. Awkward. He left, came back, and they had this explosive talk. And I just don't know what's going to happen with that. I guess we just got to see because Jacoby he went crazy he went crazy he tried to hit her with a sexual harassment suit last but not least one of my favorite characters Maurice Sabrina's bank teller co-worker aka gay best friend because that's exactly what he is he's everybody gay best friend on the show he got so much drama going on he ain't got a man in the eye that he was trying to get Calvin because Calvin is some crazy shit but we'll get into that later um <laughs> He had a thief in his house, one that was there to see him, then he wasn't there to see him, then he tried to get him to rob the bank, we talking about Q, then he tried to get him to rob a bank, and now he's trying to get, it. we're not even going to talk about what he's trying to do, we're not even going to talk about that right now, let me get into that next, give me a second. Now that I have fully filled you in on season three's activities, as far as the beginning, because I'm about to get into last night's episode, because right now... Stress. Let me tell you, stress. I was trying to wait for you guys to watch it or whoever watches it or whatever, but I can't. I'm ready to talk about it. They already talked about what I want to talk about with Sex and the City reboot. We're going to get into that in the next video. But last night's, well, Wednesday's episode of Sisters. First of all, Andy and Gary, hopefully they're breaking up for real because I'm tired of them sis went and had a threesome i think she's ashamed of the threesome if you were gonna be ashamed you shouldn't have did it but she said she had a good time so who knows i'm a little annoyed with her though maurice again one of my favorite characters on the show cuban called him all season wednesday's episode he called him like, yo, I need you to help me turn myself in, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. You're the nicest person in my life. I really need help. I'm on drugs and shit. Maurice agrees. He tells him to meet him at the, the police station. Maurice is then sitting at the police station waiting. Q is nowhere to be found. He calls Sabrina. Sabrina's like, well, nobody's in your house right now. Don't you think he's trying to set you up? He's probably in your house right now. He's like, no, no, no. Then he gets his ass up and go to his house. And guess who was sitting on his couch? Because he made a key. Q, what do you want, Q? What are you trying to pull? You trying to set me up? You trying to take me down with you? Like, what is it that you want? We don't know yet, but we finna find out. Two episodes. Last but not least. This bitch Karen done pulled the ultimate I want my man back move. Like, I can't even tell y'all. I have to show y'all the scene because I was pissed the bug off. I'm gonna be back so y'all can see what the hell I'm talking about. I'm done. We over, so I'm gonna need you to leave Fatima out of it, please. Please. She ain't got nothing to do with me and you. Sick. What, Karen? I'm pregnant. Is her thinking that her saying that is gonna make him be like, oh, finally, it's sour turn. If I was gonna have a baby, I had wanted it to be with you. And now I'm pretty sure by today, Friday, you guys have seen that Zatima, Sack and Fatima, is getting a spinoff. Could this be the reason? Is Fatima gonna stay down, ten toes down, and 
be with Zach if the baby is his? Could that be what the spinoff is about? Because, I mean, they got their own situation happening. He's about to start his own thing. And it's just like, you drop a bomb like this. By the season finale, we're going to know, hopefully, who the baby daddy is. Because we got to do the timeline, y'all. We got to do the timeline. That's number one. Number two, is this going to be featured on the Zatima spinoff coming in January on BET Plus? We don't know. But we finna find out December 22nd, Wednesday, 9 p.m. It's the season finale. Next Wednesday, come on too. Don't miss that episode. We got two episodes, y'all. Okay, my little teacups. This concludes this episode of What's the Tea? I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I have inspired you guys to go and watch Tyler Perry Sisters because shit is getting real. And if they get in the spinoff, already and this is only season three y'all can imagine what season four finna be about it's gonna go crazy be on the lookout for more of my videos about more of these shows and letting y'all know what the deal is or should i say the teeth miss amazing over and out <laughs>